St. Lucia has recorded a total of 24 COVID-19 cases to date. 22 of these cases have fully recovered and two patients remain in care at the respiratory hospital and they remain stable. A total of 2,927 tests have been conducted to date. The Ministry of Health was informed by the St. Vincent's Health Ministry of a St. Lucia national who traveled to St. Vincent's and the Grenadines on Sunday, July 19, 2020 and after screening was tested positive for COVID-19. The Ministry of Health and Wellness has undergone intense contact tracing, screening and testing of all possible contacts in relation to this case. The family, close friends and work colleagues of the individual have been tested and placed in quarantine. None of the contacts of the individual, including family, friends and employees, have developed symptoms. On Friday, July 24th, 2020, a total of 197 test results were received and on Sunday, July 26, 2020, a total of 133 samples were also processed. The total of 330 results were all negative. These include the contacts of the case and other samples as per usual. Based on our review on the weekend, there are only four outstanding contacts to be tested today. As we continue with the phase reopening of the country, the risk of introduction of COVID-19 is increased. We expect and we anticipate to manage cases. The public is advised that all of the protocols are still in place, including the reduced numbers for public transportation and protocols for private and public sector establishments. These also include the use of face masks in public and the maintenance of safe physical distancing from others. We continue to advise on the importance of maintaining the standard recommendations for infection prevention and control, which include regular hand washing with soap and water or alcohol-based hand sanitizer where soap and water may not be available, and also safe cough etiquette of covering your mouth with tissues when coughing and sneezing. The Ministry of Health and Wellness, as usual, we will continue providing updates on COVID-19 as information becomes available.